Fashion Week. I did that for credit. As a result of that, I went on to work on a magazine, you know, I, doing cover nails for the magazine. Um, I do nails for all throughout the magazine, but absolutely for the covers. So on each cover that you see, I do those nails. It's for Pink Magazine, actually. But it kind of, it has snowballed into something else. So, uh, you know, earlier I was saying you have to always, you know, be prepared, know what it is that you're doing. The thing is, if you want to kind of break in and, you know, everyone say, oh, how to, to, to break in, there is no real formula to breaking in. It just kind of happens. But I can tell you what you need if it happens to you. So you need to always be ready. Always be ready. Don't, uh, you know, you have to get ready, yes. It seems like the, the nail stylists are, are extra on set. We're extra? What do yeah. you mean? They're, they're very strong. The nail, the nail stylists are very strong, and I applaud the nail stylists because y'all guys have created a niche when you're good, everybody wants you. Yeah, I mean, you have to be. Um, the thing is, is, like I said, it's a very, very competitive field, regardless of whether it's hair, makeup, or nails. You have to be, like I said, tell yourself, yeah, I'm, my necklace right here, this one says, that says Sagittarius. This says best. But what I was saying about checking your attitude at the door, everybody think this thing stands for best friend. No, I'm the best. <laughs> but no one knows it. You know, I don't go around saying, I'm the best. Does my necklace say I'm the best? Absolutely. But that's a private joke I have with myself, and I'm just sharing with you all. But you know, you know, it's still you. You still know you're the best. No, but still in the back of your mind, you have to know. You can't have an attitude about it. You know what I'm saying? You have to humble yourself so that you can take yourself to the next level. Um, I know a nail stylist who she does amazing work. You you all have probably heard of her. I'm not going to mention her name, but she does amazing work. You know, she's got all these followers on Instagram and blah, 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 blah. You know, and at the end of the day, you talking smack. But, sweetie, you sent me messages asking me, can I get you a job? Can I get you on set? Can I get you? How did you do this? How are you? Call, how are they calling you for this? And I know she's probably saying, how are they calling her? My work's this. I got this followers. Count your followers. I count money. I'm not worried about that. And that's the thing. You when you get that call to go to set, about. don't take your friends with you to set. I was on set, um, actually it was a magazine, the wardrobe, uh, the ball, the wardrobe solid ball, a crew, you, you're not the talent. And the thing is, I mean, it depends on what you do, you, you can have your assistant and blah blah blah, but you have to know who you're taking with you, because they will stunt your career, you know, so I mean, you might need an assistant, you're on the phone, yes, it's me and my assistant, depending on how large of an event or whatever it is. You you might need an assistant, but you better talk to your assistant and say, hey, shut up, don't talk, don't laugh. <laughs> you, you, you shut up. Because sometimes it has to be that way. Um, but like I said, you want to make sure that you're ready and always ready. You never know when you're going to get that call. And if it's something that you don't know, take the time out to learn how to do it. You know, research, Google, see if there's a class somewhere. Um, because there, you're not going to know everything, but you want to know 99% of it, you know? So uh, you just want to make sure you're ready. Your book, it needs to be very diverse. I'm going to tell you something that you might not want to hear. It might sound rude and harsh. I, I don't care. Um, but I'm just going to tell you straight up. If you have an all-black book, an all-African-American book, change it. Ch change it. Mm -hmm. If your book is all black, meaning everyone in your book is African American, change it. Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm sorry, they don't want to see that. It might be a harsh reality. They don't want to see that. Yep, sprinkle them in there a little bit, but you need to broaden your book. Get some Asians in there, because everyone has different hair. You know? Get you some Asians in there. Get you some whites. I don't use Caucasian, yeah, I don't know how everyone feels about that. Get, get, get you some color in your book, you know what I'm saying? And, and do things that you don't always do. I don't know, you know, what the trends here are, you know, in Atlanta, but you, your book does not need to open up and say, she's from Atlanta. I can tell. I can tell. This child from the South. Charlie get crumb. Uh-uh. Your book needs to be 
broad. It needs to have something from everywhere in it. You don't want to just be, you know, we feel like we can only call her if it's, you know, something ghetto fabulous. Your book needs to be very broad. It does. And it needs to, you know, it needs to speak to everything. You need to make sure it speaks to everything. So, um, if anyone in here, if your book looks like that, you need to go home on Get up on Instagram and put a post and say, I'm looking for white models. I'm looking for Asian models. And in return, you tell them, hey, you'll get photos. I need you free. Um, Anybody here have a yeah. portfolio yeah, already? Anybody have money to pay for you? You have it with you? Anybody yeah. have Y'all came to the show so without your portfolio? Your, uh, your portfolio, really quick. With your portfolio, um, like he, I heard him earlier saying, make sure it's professionally done. But in addition to have everything now is digital, everything is now online. In addition to having a hard copy of your portfolio, you want to make sure you have an online presence. You can check out your phone right now and say, oh, do you have a website? So if you say, no, I don't have a website, they'll say, oh, okay. You know, they, kind of, they look at that. So in addition to having your website, even if you don't have a website, create a Facebook fan page. I have a website, I have a blog, I have a Tumblr, I have Instagram, Twitter. If it's a social media network, I have it. I have a Pinterest. And everything, and when you understand when you're building yourself and building your brand, whatever it's going to be, everything is Her Nails Rock. That's my company. So everything is Her Nails Rock. Okay? Can you spell your first name? My first name, A-J-A-H-M-U-R-E. But like I said, in the industry, it's just going to be Aj. So A J. A, I've seen an AJA and AJAH, but it's Aj. Everyone calls me Aj. When I get introduced, it's hey, this is Aj. She does nails. Her company turn nails rock. Blah de, blah de, blah. But um, you want to make sure that you always present yourself in the best light. So with your personal and your professional pages, uh, it may keep them very very separate. I have a personal life that no one knows about me. They don't know about me personally. They know about me. The, the nail girl, the Aja More who does nails. That's it. Very few people know about me. They don't know if I have children. They don't know if I'm married. They don't know any of it. And I don't want them to know any of it. Because it can, certain times it can hold you back. They might say, oh, she has a child. Oh, I don't want to call her. It's midnight. The shoot is tomorrow. Let's find somebody else. You don't want that to happen. So don't, don't talk about your personal life. Only to a certain degree. Where you went to school, maybe that's it. If you're in a sorority, maybe that's it. That's it. Make sure you keep your personal and your professional life very, very separate. Um, so yeah, so if there's, you know, you don't want to post your crazy ratchet business, you know, on your, 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 your business page. I just now started posting what I would even call personal pictures on my uh, Her Nails Rock Instagram. And that's only because it's just like, you know, people want to know you. They want to get to know your personality a little bit. So I very, very rarely is, I have whatever, 300, 400 pictures, but only maybe four of them are me. And it's not even, it's a very calculated move. It's me during the weekend, but I was at my celebrity friend's house for her birthday. So it was just like, oh, kicking it this weekend. I'll tell you, I was with Mika Claxton, um, Speedy Claxton's wife. It was like, oh, happy birthday, Mika. And it was a picture of me, you know, giving her a kiss on the cheek. So it was that, you know. But it was still, there's a celebrity in that picture. I'm a celebrity manicure, so it still works with my brand. It wasn't me, you know, kicking it on the roller coaster. Ah, oh my God. No. You know what I'm saying? And that's only just so people can say, oh, she's so interesting. And keep, you know, you have to still keep them coming. But anyway, you, um. Always make sure you put your best forward because the thing is, once you're in, they gonna spread you around. Okay, I did nails for Tamar Braxton. Um, we all know she's got a bunch of sisters. So now it's oh, when you're in New York, oh, you're in New York, need your nails done. Hold on, I got a text message randomly one day. Hey, I need my nails done. Are you available? Don't reply, but, well, I mean, you can reply, who is this, or whatever, but oh, make sure it's pleasant. I say, I'm sorry, I've lost all of my contacts, and I don't seem to have your number. You know, who is this? But before that, I say, yeah, I can do them, no problem, you know, and I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You know, you could say something like that, now, who is this, who are you? Don't do that. 
it's not going to get it. And she's like, oh, hey, it's Tony, Tamar's sister. 